now commercial use, Sakura has impressed most growers with its consistently high levels of control, which makes it surprising and frustrating when unfavourable conditions produce results that aren't so good. This video briefly explains what can cause issues, some of which you can control and some you can't. The first potential problem is cultivation. Sakura works best when rain after sowing washes it down into the weed seed zone, but cultivation can bury the weed seeds, moving them out of the Sakura distribution band. So Sakura is most effective when it's applied to undisturbed soil, which makes no-till practices ideal for best performance. In extreme cases, that can also cause problems. If there is such a thick layer of stubble, chaff or other ground cover that it prevents Sakura from reaching the soil, the trash could be too thick all over the paddock, or the header may have left the chaff heaped in thick rows. How much trash is too much partly depends on how much rain you get to wash the Sakura through it. Both sandy and cloddy soil can cause issues that are discussed in separate short videos like this one. If your soil is either very sandy, which can be problematic if you get too much rain after sowing, or cloddy, please have a look at the relevant video, which you can find on our website. Finally, there's the most obvious problem. No significant rain falls after sowing. If there is enough existing soil moisture or dew to germinate the crop and weeds, but no further significant rain falls, then weeds may be starting to grow as the crop emerges. Without rain to move Sakura into the weed seed zone and keep the topsoil moist, those weeds can emerge, compete with the crop and be relatively unaffected by the Sakura mixed into the soil by sowing. If you suspect a germination event has occurred when you're about to apply Sakura, but no weeds have emerged yet and no significant follow-up rain is forecast, tank mixing Sakura with trifluralin may help control that early germination until the Sakura is activated by rain. On the other hand, if the soil is dry at sowing and there is no rain for an extended period, Sakura can still work really well. Because it's stable in sunlight, Sakura will stay in the topsoil for weeks and be fully incorporated by rain when it finally arrives. Even if no rain falls for weeks after sowing, when it finally arrives, the Sakura can be quickly incorporated and provide residual control for months afterwards. As that suggests, Sakura works really well with dry sowing, although it's even better if there's rainfall both before and after sowing. And that's the first key to getting the best results with Sakura. While there are plenty of other issues that influence when growers decide to sow, as far as Sakura goes, no rain before sowing is okay, but no significant rain after sowing will affect control. The second key to success is to spray Sakura onto uncultivated soil, but make sure the trash load isn't too great. If the stubble, plant residue or ground cover is over 50%, weed control may be reduced. Once you've sprayed Sakura, making sure the coverage is even across the paddock, it's important to sow with knife points or narrow points. The less disturbance of the soil, the better, as this will result in less deep burial of weed seeds. And one final but very important tip about sowing, take your time. If the cedar is travelling too fast, it can throw treated soil right across into the adjacent furrow. This can reduce control between the rows and in some cases cause damage to the crop. Taking it slowly and steadily ensures that you'll keep the Sakura in the inter-row where it's most needed. By taking those few simple precautions, you can look forward to consistent results from Sakura, a product that is setting a new standard of reliability for pre-emergent herbicides. If you'd like more information or explanation of these points, please call our Technical Inquiries number 1800 804 479.